Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday News here on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. I am Bavita Kopolchan. Thank you so much for joining us. Top of the news at this time. The amendments to the property tax bill was passed in the Senate yesterday with 16 voting for, 7 against and 7 abstaining. The bill was passed in the House of Representatives on March 18th by a vote of 20 to 15. Now, the bill reduces the rate of taxation by 1% while extending the challenge period to annual rental values from 30 days to 6 months. Senate has been adjourned to 1.30 this afternoon. Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez says government will soon announce its decision on the Regulated Industries Commission recommendations. On Monday, Tobago Gonzalez told the media that the rates are being closely reviewed and discussed by the cabinet at this time. We just asked the RIC to return to us with some further clarification on minor matters. We expect that information to, to be returned um, within the next week or so, and then the government will report to the country on um, its final um, recommendations and or policy directive to TNTech on the matter. Last October, the RIC announced its proposed rate increases for TNTech customers of a 15 to 64 percent for residential, 37 to 61 percent for commercial, and a 58 to 72 percent increase for industrial customers. Now, although all reservoirs across the country are consistent with the dry season conditions, their levels remain the long-term average level. Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez told reporters yesterday that he's grateful that it is not in a critical state. The Met Office, you know, continues to provide us with support and the necessary information. We are not in a state of crisis. But again, once we continue to engage in conservation practices, then we will go through the dry season without having to reach a crisis position. So most of them are within their long-term average, and um, I cannot point to any reservoir that is in the red zone as yet. He says the public has responded positively to the authorities' call for conservation. Over to a bit of crime-related news now. A differently abled man of Bamboo Trace, Upper Fairley Street in Junapuna, was killed on Monday evening as he sat in front of his house. He is 34-year-old Kiplin Sandy. Reports indicate that Sandy was sitting on a chair in front of his house as he was accustomed to doing every evening when a man with a gun walked up and shot him several times before running off. While no motive was established for this murder, up to news time. Officers have since dismissed claims on social media that it was gang-related and that Sandy was affiliated with the resistance gang. And a 19-year-old was shot and killed in Laventil. Stefan Nicholson of Clovis Trace in Marval was at Picton Laventil in an area known as Canada when he was shot around 8 p.m. yesterday. We will bring you more details on this as it comes to hand. Kevin Constantine of Diggle Martin died following an accident at the Trin City intersection early this morning. According to reports, Constantine was driving in a westerly direction along the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. On reaching the Trin City intersection lights, he attempted to turn onto the Trin City Central Road when he collided with another vehicle which was being driven by a police officer. Now, both drivers received serious injuries and had to be removed from the wreckage with the jaws of life by fire officers. They were taken to hospital where Constantine died around 5 this morning. Well, $12 million restoration works are progressing steadily at the San Fernando General Hospital. Dr. Brian Amos, CEO of the Southwest Regional Health Authority, says reconstruction of the roof started in December 2023. He says the entire hospital will be repainted and the Ministry of Local Government has pledged support for infrastructure improvements. So roof, painting, grounds, um, we have we are working with six outsourced contracts to do beautification landscapes throughout the entrance exits of the campus, so round about aesthetics and um, maintaining flora um, of the of the environment, and we also finally going to be involved in demolition and demolishing all old structures. So the um, the derelict nursing hostels and all derelict buildings we just simply plan to take down. AMO aims to complete the restoration works within budget, enhancing services for about 600,000 patients. 
Miss Royal Trinidad and Tobago Ash Abrahams arrived in Tobago this morning to pay a courtesy visit to Chief Secretary Fali Augustin. On March 9th, Abram copped the Miss Royal Caribbean title at the 71st Miss Royal pageant held in India. She was also in the top four finalists for the Miss Royal crown. She arrived in Tobago just after 8.30 a.m. and was greeted by officials from the Tobago House of Assembly and Miss Tobago 2024, Renessa Ortiz. Abram shared a light moment with Ortiz and brimly told the media she's excited to be in Tobago. It's time for a short break, we'll be right back. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health. It helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Bumper to bumper traffic I am here and I will definitely be late because I still have to pass by the ATM to get cash for you. So say no no no. Don't put you on that. You can pay with cash. So just come straight, yeah. Ncash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Ncash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Ncash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Download the app and create your wallet today. If you could see what the future holds, you'd see that while things change, you've still got it. You are strong, resilient, inspiring and you won't be defined by time you'll own every minute of it because you were made for more discover how alive multivitamins by nature's way help you age vibrantly Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health it helps stop problems before they start so your dentist ready Mr. Walker oh am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Our connection is reliable, credible, and authentic. Thank you for trusting me to bring you the news. It's a privilege to be in your homes and hearts. With every story and every newscast, CNC3 is keeping you informed and inspired. When it comes to news, we are where you are. Welcome back. The 51st edition of the Carifta Games this week, Easter weekend holds great significance. For the first time since 2016, the island of Grenada welcomes the region's, the region's best junior athletes. More than this, the sporting spectacle has been married to the island's 50th anniversary of independence celebrations. Our team of Jassy Barik and cameraman Ignatius Wharton filed this report from the island. Carifta Games, brought to you by Island Finance. On the track, Grenada's team of 67 athletes, its largest ever contingent, prepares for the island's third time hosting the Carifta Games. In between the athletes, the pedicure continues. As we understand it, the over 700 athletes and officials expected to arrive on the island for the 51st edition also represents the largest number in event history. It is cheaper because travel costs and arrangements is a significant um, uh, factor that have to be considered. So you generally have, you know, the islands around can feel larger teams. An added reason why the Karani James Stadium will be sold out on all four days starting this Friday. Grenada's 50th anniversary of independence celebrated on February 7th. Coming into Grenada, it is hard not to observe the national colors emblazoned everywhere that the eye can see. This country is celebrating its 50th anniversary of independence this year. And of course, the Corrupta Games, which will be held here at the Karani James uh, Athletic Stadium, is what a part of those celebrations. All the more reason why we understand that Grenadians are excited to take part in these games. It's consistent with a sort of mood. As you know, Grenada is celebrating 50-year independence. That went off quite well. There are a series of other events that will be hosted, and so uh, the celebratory mood is, is, is very high. 
From a technical standpoint, the Karani James Stadium's new track is barely a month old, but Moses assures the Spice Isle is ready. We are prepared. We have done all the training, all the practice runs, um, updating our technical officials. Uh, on the ground, we have both the organization and technical delegate have arrived, ensuring that everything... The Carifta Games will begin on March 29th and run until April 1st. Jassy Marik, CNC3 Sport, St. George's, Grenada. Carifta Games, brought to you by Island Finance. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or bifocals and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. Shop and save at PRW Enterprises this Easter. Special on laptops from $2,000. Security 8-channel combo starting at $2,275. Save big on smart TVs starting at $1,688. Printer from $599. Camping tent, $200. Ring doorbell at $674. Call us today at 285-9779 or visit any of our five locations. Forget about bucket lists. We want to know what's on your best life list. Vacation, education, renovation, celebration. Live your best life with Island Finance. Visit a branch near you or islandfinancetrinidad.com and live your best life now. You can depend on Island Finance. Subject to credit approval and documents verification. Unlock your mind's incredible capacity like never before. Introducing Advances Smart Plus, the groundbreaking solution that over time can help supercharge your memory, concentration, and unleash your mental performance. Our cutting-edge formula features an unparalleled blend of 13 clinically researched natural ingredients, selected for its proven ability to work synergistically to help optimize brain function. Feel the difference now with Advances Smart Plus. Available at leading pharmacies and Pennywise nationwide. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for home health health and helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. In regional news, Jamaica's police force is reporting an 11% decline in murder despite there being nearly 60 homicides in the past 14 days. According to recently released statistics, there are 30 less homicides over the corresponding period last year. But the police force has promised Jamaican nationals that there are safer neighborhoods. As of last weekend, Jamaica's murder toll for the year has crossed 250. Internationally, a state of emergency has been declared in Maryland following the collapse of a major bridge. Early on Tuesday morning, a cargo vessel collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing it to collapse into the Patapsco River and the vessel catching on fire. According to local officials, there is an urgent search for survivors as multiple vehicles continue to be detected in the water. I don't know how many vehicles yet. I know that we have detected the presence of vehicles. As far as the number between the 7 and 20, that's been a dynamic count um, throughout the morning. Just given the fact that we haven't yet nailed that number down, we do believe that at least seven are involved in that, at least seven at this point. And while it is unsafe for investigators to board the cargo vessel at this time, the FBI is for now ruling out that the collision was intentional. There is absolutely no indication that there's any terrorism, that, that this was done on purpose. Our criminal intel is working with the FBI and other federal and state agencies to get all the intel that we have, but there's absolutely no indication that it was intentional.
Now for today's weather forecast, Trinidad and Tobago can expect predominantly hot and sunny conditions with a light breeze and a very low chance of an isolated afternoon shower. Seas are expected to be slight to moderate with waves up to 1.5 meters in open waters and between 0.1 meter to half a meter in sheltered areas. The maximum temperature for Trinidad is expected to be 34 degrees Celsius and 32 degrees Celsius in Tobago. Well, thank you so much for joining us for a look at the day's development so far. We'll have these stories and so much more coming up for you in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. In the meantime, have a great day. Watching CNC3. Time check. Courtesy Alive by Nature's Way. Distributed by HJ Enterprises Limited. नहीं चाहते हम जान सकते सब क्या चल रहा है तपस्या के साथ खेलने के लिए ऐसी लड़की रखी है आपने 